few years ago, as part of Headland Amenities technical package, we created a useful Excel file that our customers can use to track weather data. The principle is that by inputting some data from your site, the chart will map your growth potential, growth degree days, and give you other useful information, such as cumulative rainfall, frost days, dry days, etc. You get a means of quantifying your weather data and growth levels so it can be interpreted. The 2021 version, though, adds some new information that I will go through shortly. Firstly, let's begin with the basics of the spreadsheet. You will see the tabs along the bottom of the screen for the months of the year and then other tabs for the yearly totals and graphical data. Depending on your screen setup, you may need to extend the visible tabs to make sure all these are shown. For the purposes of this demonstration, I have pre-populated this chart with some rainfall, maximum air temperature and minimum air temperature data. You will see that the growth potential and growth degree day information is calculated automatically and appears on the right hand side of the chart. If you scroll down the chart, you will see that this data is also starting to be graphed out on your behalf. Move back to the top and you will see the updates to the chart. There is now space for you to input your daily clipping yield, humidity and evapotranspiration levels or ET in millimetres. Ideally, you would get this data from your own on-site weather station, but failing that, you can get it from Headland Weather Check where you have this set up. Information on this can be found by using the link that has appeared. The main change here is the addition of the column smith kearns model. This is a complicated mathematical formula that primarily is used to predict dollar spot occurrence. It works by taking a five day rolling average of temperature and humidity and converting this into a percentage or probability. From there, you can see on your own site where the thresholds to activity are and build a site specific disease profile by filling in the cells on the right. A couple of caveats here. These cells give no percentage readings below 10 degrees and above 35 degrees as dollar spot is thought to be an active outside of these temperatures, which is why we didn't get any percentages in October and we are doing in June. Secondly, you may be wondering whether this data can be used to predict other foliar pathogens such as red thread or of course Microdochium nivale, commonly known as Fusarium patch. The answer is that this model is not really set up for that as it does not take into account that Fusarium patch in particular is low temperature adapted. That said, if you are finding that you are getting disease activity after so many days at a certain probability, there's nothing to stop you mapping it out as a working theory going forward. The final two tabs are Annual Summary, where you will get an overview of the year so far, including all your cumulative data. This gives you the option to save the file as a PDF and print and share the contents as you see fit. And the Charts tab, which shows your seasonal rainfall versus growth potential, summer anthracnose triggers, your Smith Kearns output, evapotranspiration levels, rainfall, dry days, wet days, and even frost days. Hopefully this video has proved useful and there's two more related videos that may also help which are appearing on screen. As always, please feel free to browse the remaining videos, subscribe to the channel, or drop us a question in the comments section below.